big South Fork Recreation Area, which is in tennis, Northern Tennessee, Southern Kentucky. And we are going to do a 55 mile loop that has the John Littleton Trail and then the John Muir Trail. We'll spend about three days in this area, hiking along the Cumberland Plateau with the Cumberland River below us. It should be an ex ex excellent adventure. It's currently about 70 degrees. Um, it's tree covered. It's supposed to be cloudy and sunny for the next three days and probably about 80% humidity. So this is the start of the trail. So we will catch you down the trail. There is Renee. Hey, love. Yeah. Well, the metal roof has obviously been added. So this is the Littleton Farmstead. This is on our trail. This is an example of people who came out this part of the world 100 years ago and tried to make a go of it. And there's the split rail fence. This is their barn back there with their cow animals and all their animals, the hayloft in the second story. And then their, their barn's just up here. And the National Park has put metal roofs on it I guess to preserve the structures and they lived out here with their family and collected all the various nuts and seeds and were trying to be self-sufficient so they were living off grid I guess before there was a grid source of water. We're looking at branch drainage and we're going to be going around this little edge of the plateau over to that pinnacle over there where we'll see Angels Falls Overlook. So far the uh, area has been wonderful. Lots of shaded areas, little stream crossings, moss, the birds are singing and we haven't seen anybody. So it's been a really quite pleasant hike. And now we're just making our way down. We're going to do a side trail over to Angels Falls Overlook and then continue along the top of the Cumberland Plateau. Here we are at a cave. It's awesome. Really rock structure. Another cave up here. It's lunch time or snack time. We're up on the plateau 
to the front you can see the cliffs and then down below as you can see the Cumberland River and then there's the cliff below I'll pan the camera down over the edge you can see the magnolia tree right down on the bottom there if you're looking closely Ooh. And there's some water running down below. There's a creek down below there. And we'll be staying up on this plateau. Every once in a while, we'll drop down close to the river, but we're up here. Time for our first snack of the day. This trail has all these outcroppings of rocks and the natural shelter sort of cave like um, cave-like features along this trail, which makes it very interesting. And they seem to be potentially neat places to sit and have a fire, I guess, if you wanted to have a fire underneath this rock. It doesn't look like it has fallen much recently, but they all continue along here, and they go up here, and there's the, they're all along. It's really quite fun and very interesting about this hike. So, as we uh, walk around the edge of the plateau, we have these occasional overlooks and then these rock outcroppings and subtle uphills and downhills, nothing too serious. So far, we've seen one set of mountain bikers on a mountain biking trail that we didn't take, but it went ran beside us. And then one other hiking group of three people. So, it doesn't seem to be too busy. Maybe we're in the wrong season or the right season. It's just not busy. But so far, it's been very, very pleasant. The birds have been singing and it's been over. It's been sunny. Here's the sun. But with the trees, with the over, the leaves above us, it protects us. And I think it's about 10 degrees cooler here on the floor of the forest as opposed to if we were just out on top in the straight sunlight. So overall, fairly bearable. We'll check in with you later as we head the, down the trail. The morning of day two at the big South Fork hike. We've got an up. Our tent stayed dry because of the overhang as we look up. The overhang gave, it up, gave us plenty of protection and our tent was dry. You can hear in the forest the water falling off the leaves and if you look through the light you can see some condensation already evaporating. We're staying put this morning having breakfast here because we've got a late start. We usually get up a little bit earlier, but but today, because of the overhang and the wet forest and then the position of our tent, we sort of missing the morning sunrise, which is coming over here to the east. And we are just sort of getting breakfast ready, have breakfast, pack up and head down the trail. This is the John Muir Overlook, part of the John Muir Trail of the Big Fork, Big South Fork. National Recreation Area. It's pretty, pretty nice. If you look, I'm gonna try to zoom in here. 
If you look way over there to the west, you can see Mount Whitney. Um, but that's a bit of a hike from here, considering it's in California and we're in Tennessee. So we're gonna spread out our stuff here, dry it out as best we can, because this is definitely a, a dry, sunny, exposed spot and get our gear ready for the next time it rains. We just came off this trail, down, 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 off the plateau, and we got a stream, lovely stream down here, and the camp, the horse camp site, and a nice bridge that we get to go over. We don't have to walk through the water. Here. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon and we're on, five, honey. say oh it's closer to 5 I guess, I've missed a lot of losing track of time. We're on part of the, whew, see I'm crossing the stream here, the Shanti Trail. We're going up along another river and it's up and down through the forest. There's a little river to the right of us and side streams. We have about another hour or so of hiking and then hopefully we'll find a quality campsite. But it's really quite pretty. There's the stream down there big boulders. It's one of those amazing streams you find hiking in the south. It has a laziness to it because it's been around here for millions of years and it's very inviting. It seems like a sanctuary as opposed to out west where the water just was snow and was cold and you can get in it for a second, but it's too cold to get in. All this water here right now seems very inviting as it's, you know, 80% humidity. But The end of day two, hiked about 17 miles is our guess, put up our tent, cut the stream below, and now we just cleaned up, that's why our clothes is everywhere. We're going to go in our tent, listen to a podcast, and then come out in about a half hour, 45 minutes, and cook some dinner. This is a really pretty spot, we get the sun coming down through the trees and the stream in the distance that'll help Renee sleep tonight. And we are gonna enjoy this space. So we've just set up camp. This is a night of two, night two. Beautiful spot. We've got the Stream down there, so Renee should sleep good tonight. Put the fan. A little fire pit over there, probably won't use because the wood is so wet, but 
take a little wash by the stream tonight. It'll be beautiful. Day two, we're just finishing up breakfast. Got the tent pulled down. Just gotta put our kitchen away. Having some coffee this morning. Some coffee this morning. And today we're gonna hike about 15 miles. And we'll be almost done with the trail. We'll just have like a couple miles tomorrow to the car. And then we'll be finished up our uh, Big South Fork, John Littleton, John Muir Trail Loop. 55 miles, very pleasant. Last night's sleep was wonderful. We had the stream below and it gave us a nice sound. We were up high enough off this elevation here that we didn't get any moisture from the river and it was a perfect temperature. We just shared our quilt just in the early part of the morning and I just slept in my sleeping bag liner and it was wonderful. I highly recommend this trail. We have seen basically one other camper and then one set of day hikers first thing yesterday morning. So if you want solitude and no sense of the outside wilderness or the outside urban life, this would be the place to go. I'm gonna finish my coffee and get all packed up. So we're on the Sheltui Trace Trail and we're along the lip. And this is what's cool about this park is all these undercuts with these wonderful uh, waterfall actions and stuff there. But if you look down, way down, we'll follow that tree down. You realize we're about 200 feet off the ground right now, looking over the edge into a hole um, with the rocks below and the undercut over there. So that's where we're at. We're making our way down the Sheltui Trace Trail towards where our car is. This is our last day of hiking. But this is actually, every day has been great. And this is one of these wonderful days where we've seen a hidden tunnel and all these overlooks. So it's it's been a very pleasant day so far. And the humidity is acceptable today. Start of day three. We we're all packed up. Here was our campsite from last night, all clean and gone. Apparently we must have had a bear come down through the trail because Renee saw some footprints in the mud. Now our big challenge, first challenge of the day is crossing the stream. We'll see how Renee does here. She came through the bushes. She's gonna do the lovely jump. Oh, gee whiz, it's easy breezy. Oh, one toe wet. But, We have about three miles left before we finish our loop. We come out of Laurel Creek. We cross crossed over that creek 10 or 12 times. Now we're on this ridge and our feet are drying out. And it's perfect temperature. The humidity's low. 
the sun is shining through the trees and just a lovely walk through the woods right now. So a great way to finish this three night, four day adventure in the Big South Fork National Recreation Area.